Young children have told me they want to kill Americans. Who do you want to fight? Do you want to fight the stone enemy, Americans? What if I told you I'm an American? Do you want to shoot me too? No? Yes. Yes. Young children have told me they want to kill Americans. Who do you want to fight? Do you want to fight the stone enemy, Americans? What if I told you I'm an American? Do you want to shoot me too? No? Yes. Yes. Anti-U.S. propaganda greeted us at nearly every corner. Outside, missiles blowing up the U.S. Capitol. Inside, a personal attack on North Korea's public enemy number one. This propaganda banner says that the workers are motivated by their burning hatred for the United States. And in fact, it reads, let's tear apart the mentally deranged U.S. President Donald Trump. The worker I interviewed was carefully chosen. Anti-U.S. propaganda greeted us at nearly every corner. Outside, missiles blowing up the U.S. Capitol. Inside, a personal attack on North Korea's public enemy number one. This propaganda banner says that the workers are motivated by their burning hatred for the United States. And in fact, it reads, let's tear apart the mentally deranged U.S. President Donald Trump. The worker I interviewed was carefully chosen. There's anti-American propaganda. Images of nuclear-tipped missiles pointed directly at the U.S. These themes are woven into the fabric of North Korean culture. Even young children have told me they want to kill Americans. Who do you want to fight? Do you want to fight the stone enemy, Americans? What if I told you I'm an American? Do you want to shoot me too? Yes. Yes. I remember this trip to a Pyongyang textile mill. Anti-U.S. propaganda greeted us at nearly every corner. Outside, missiles blowing up the U.S. Capitol. Inside, a personal attack on North Korea's public enemy number one. This propaganda banner says that the workers are motivated by their burning hatred for the United States. And in fact, it reads, let's tear apart the mentally deranged U.S. President Donald Trump. The worker I interviewed was carefully chosen by our government guides. What do you think about Americans and the United States in general? Only hatred. It makes me shudder. Each missile launch, each nuclear test, gave North Koreans a sense of national pride. Or at least that's what they said in the presence of our government miners. I wonder what North Koreans must be thinking now, now that their government is telling them there's no longer a need to launch intercontinental ballistic missiles, now that their supreme leader Kim Jong-un is ordering the nuclear test site at Pungay-ri to be shut down. Getting rid of nukes would be a huge cultural shift for North Koreans, thinking of America as a friend, not an enemy, an even bigger change. I want to see how on earth the U.S. looks like to be harassing Korean people so much, sanctioning our economy. What grudge is there between Korea and the U.S.? They invaded our country and massacred us. Why do you think we are suffering now? I really curse the Americans and want to destroy their land. That's what they say when the cameras are rolling. But off camera, North Koreans often are friendly and polite. They've asked me about my life, about my travels, and some have even said that they would like to visit the United States. They've been told for 65 years America is evil and an enemy, and yet I think a lot of North Koreans, Aaron, would probably welcome if there could be some sort of a deal reached between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. Despite everything that they've been told, uh, when you meet people face-to-face, -face, it's often different than the propaganda.